The first thing we'll do is import the animated library from React Native. We'll then go ahead and create a new component called image loader, which extends component. We'll then initialize it with some state. That state's going to be opacity, and we'll set that to a new animated dot value and set that initially to zero. We'll then set up a new function called onload. And inside of this onload, we're going to call animated.timing. We'll say we want to modify this.state.opacity. Then we need to pass a configuration to the second argument of animated.timing. And we'll set a two value of one. We'll set a duration of 500 milliseconds. And finally, we want to say we want to use the native driver. So uh, this animation happens off of the JavaScript thread. Finally, we need to call a dot start on our animated dot timing. We'll then set up our render method. And inside of our render method, we'll return a new animated dot image. And inside of this animated dot image, we'll add our onload, in which we'll call this dot onload. We'll then use the spread operator to pass any of the props that are typically passed to an image component to our animated image. And finally, we'll start setting up our styles. We'll use an array to pass our styles so that we can go ahead and pass all of the existing styles as well. First, we'll have an object in which we'll set the opacity, which we'll pull from this.state.opacity. We'll then set up a transform through which we'll actually modify the scale of the image, which again, we'll use this.state.opacity. This time we'll call dot interpolate on it. And I'll say the input range is zero to one, which we're setting in our state. And we'll then set the output range, which will be from 0 0.85 when the input's at zero to a final value of one. Finally, we want to make sure that we pass in all of the user supplies styles to the image as well. We can then go ahead and take our image loader component and replace the image component that we're already using. And when we save this, you can see that the image now fades in and scales in as it's loading. 